we don't. We're not being pitched up. We don't have to make excuses. We don't leave till very late in the evening, so it's good to be slept all morning. And now we're going to head out and do a last minute bit of exploring in Singapore because it's the last day. Sad face. Last day of the trip. Sad reacts only. So we haven't actually made a plan for today. So we're probably just going to mo mooch around getting gifts for people and just relaxing, hey? I'm going to a museum. We may go to the National Museum of Singapore, which is close. Going on a little coffee mission to find some coffee because we haven't had any breakfast today. Go that way. Where's he gone? I've genuinely lost him. I can't find him. We've got a lunch special on there. I found you again. Where'd you go? Attracted by all the food. Station. Just before we head off to the museum, we do what I like to do best when I come to a new country and explore the shop. Genuinely my favourite thing. The museum's just there, but we have come here just to quickly show Anthony this. So this is Fort Canning Manor, Fort Canning House. And so when Fort Canning was first here, taking over his Singapore stuff, this is where he lived. I got it wrong, it's the Fort Canning Art Centre, that one. I guess I will see you at the end of the museum tour then. Didn't say anything about no photography in here. Just come into this exhibition which is awesome. We have spent the last three Whoa. hours inside um, that museum walking around. Um, very informative, man. Enjoy yeah, it. Learned a lot. It was my second time walking around and I still enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I'm seeing stuff I hadn't seen yet. But um, the entire time we were inside the museum, we were listening to that and the heavens are about to open. We're gonna get a bit wet, aren't we? A little bit. Whoa. Just stay on the side. Well, that was crazy. I stopped filming because I was helping them out, but they're still just disputing it now. But I think the, the motorcyclist overtook him too close and he just moved over to the other lane. He just clipped him. He wasn't going fast. He's okay. We just need to go inside. Just cross again. Just quick, 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 quick. We have got properly caught up in this storm though. They get that motorcycle accident, I'm drenched. But yeah, both that guy's mirrors have popped off and also his, both his indicators are broken. I don't know how that even happened because he only fell on one side. But the taxi driver stopped and helped him pick up the bike, which is the main thing. Um, yeah, but he's fine. That's the other main thing, he's okay. Happened really quickly though, didn't it? It wasn't a big crash, he literally just slid on the floor. It's the, it's the conditions as well, it is wet out there. I would never run my motorcycle. I would never, just a bit wet. I would never ride my motorcycle in something like that. Like, we get light drizzle in England, but if there was ever a storm like that, I wouldn't even go anywhere near. I've been an idiot and left my tube card um, up at, um, either in the hotel room or in my bag or somewhere anyway. But we're running out of time now. By the time we get back to the room to get it and then come back out, we're not gonna be able to eat and pack up. Um, and it's torrential rain, so we get caught in it. Look at this. So I think we're gonna go back to the hotel and regroup, rethink. Storm you've ever seen? Well, 
Anthony, we just come out of the rain and Anthony just had a very good um, little discovery. He well, originally, we did. originally we bought these these very cute um, like oyster cards basically. Equivalent to an oyster. And they cost five, it's five pounds to buy it and then you, you get seven dollars automatic credit on it. And then originally Phil put an extra 10 on them thinking we need it, which we didn't. Um, so I thought oh, I'll see if I can get the money back off it. And uh, they did. Just got my coffee. You got a 100 plus. Um, fun fact for everyone, it's very humid and um, um, it's stupidly humid here in Singapore and it's very, very hot. It's 30 degrees most days, even when it rains. And this drink was recommended to us by um, our uncle and it's an isotonic drink, basically. It replaces your electrolytes, so it's dehydrated and it tastes very, very good. If you're ever in Singapore, don't grab a Coke. Grab a 100 plus. This is not a sponsored endorsement by 100 plus and there are other drinks available. <laughs> Oh, it's just be cold, it's just be cold. We're looking a bit cleaner, nearly done, tidied up. And I think we're gonna say goodbye now. Quick thing I haven't done in our hotel. Oh yeah, I just did a few hand stands. In our hotel, you get a free smartphone to take with you outside using free international calls, free text. I don't think it's included in our plan we have with our room. But normal guests can take that phone, use it for free international calls to most um, countries like big ones, America, UK, Europe. And um, it has a map on Google Maps, all of that. So it's like an immersive experience and you can just take it with you. It's included in the hotel room. It's pretty funky. Anyway, we are going to call it a day. I think we're just going to literally get showered and then head down to the lobby um, to get picked up. Has it been a good, good trip, Ant? Yeah, it's been very, yeah? very enjoyable. I think we've had a really, really good time. It's been really fun traveling with my brother. I had fun doing it in Rome with Seb. I've never done it with you. No. Apart from holidays. Um, so yeah, we will see you. He won't see you. I will see you in the next adventure, wherever it may be. I can tell you where it's going to be. Where's it going to be? You'll have to watch and find out. No, anyway. So from me and from Anthony, you might see Anthony in a vlog sometime in the near future. Um, goodbye. What's Bye. that? No, don't do that. I'll be for the end now. It'll be this goodbye, and then it'll be yours going goodbye. No, just wave goodbye. Bye, and say bye. No, don't say bye. It'll be awkward. Currently en route to Plymouth for Dane's birthday party after getting back from Singapore last night and, um, and have currently broken down on the way. Safe to say, not in the best of moods. Luckily, I've got this man keeping me company. What's happened, Jamie? Hi, guys. Jamie here, speaking. Hi. 